My name is Cecily Araby and uh, I am niece of Kuman Rabancha. This is the time for me to speak up about domestic violence. Tucked away on the outskirts of Alice Springs is Ndupa Town Camp, a tiny community with a big heart and a family with an important message. Domestic violence is a story out there to everyone to open their eyes and, you know, it's not always their business, it's everybody's business. Two years ago, when Dupper Camp's president was murdered, repeatedly run over with a car in the car park of the Alice Springs Hospital. Behind the wheel was her drunk partner, Malcolm Abbott, who'll now spend the rest of his life in prison. Kuman Rabunja's murder left both families grieving, an outspoken anti-violence campaigner who worked to protect others from the fate she ultimately suffered herself. Not even her closest friends and colleagues knew she'd been abused, but Kuman Rabunja called police 22 times in the final 20 months of her life. Yet she was able to slip through the cracks in the Northern Territory's domestic violence system that's now under the microscope of the coroner. Through four separate coronial inquests with a string of tragic similarities, the Northern Territory coroner has spent weeks picking apart the NT's domestic and family violence response. And the evidence has been devastating. Women's shelters are turning away victim survivors every single day. Stretched police are taking hours to respond to Code 1 domestic violence calls. And in overcrowded prisons, rehabilitation programs aren't accessible to everyone who needs them. In the past decade, NT police have recorded a 117% increase in domestic violence calls and they predict that'll jump another 73% in the next. Domestic violence-related homicide in the Territory is seven times the national average and Indigenous women are being killed at almost 13 times the rate of non-Indigenous women. Coroners before her have called out the horrific levels of domestic violence in the Territory, but Elizabeth Armitage's inquiry is unlike any other. Beyond the statistics, her counsel assisting have called evidence about why domestic and family violence is so much worse in the Territory. It's no coincidence that Aboriginal men and women are also more likely to be the victims of trauma, homelessness, disability, poorer schooling, poorer health and lower life expectancy. For Ms Rabuncha's family, the inquest into her murder provided clarity, a chance to be heard and the last of her belongings, which had been held by police since her death, to finally be returned. Her spirit is with us and that she is like with all of us saying her goodbyes to us as well, like her and she's saying that she loves us. Melissa McKay, ABC News, Alice Springs.